I underestimated you, Ohana. My most aggressive fish. He's probably gonna bite me. No, no, no! Omaku ka u. Ai na hanalui a Maui. Aloha, my ohana. It is everyone's favorite Hawaiian fish keeper, Baramel. Now, if you're new to the channel, let me be the first to give you a nice, big, warm aloha. All right, my ohana, so I got some good news and I got some bad news. All right, so let's start with the bad news. Now, I'm sure you can tell by the thumbnail and the title of this video, I have to hand feed my most aggressive fish, which is Zeus, my Ocellaris, peacock bass boom oh i'm a little nervous now before we get into that i gotta say congratulations to you i underestimated you ohana i honestly thought that we weren't gonna hit 300 likes and we did it like in i don't know a day and a half or so super fast which i was like whoa this is getting too close and then next thing you know it was like boom it hit 300 and i'm like i gotta do this first time i've ever done something like this i've never hand fed my most aggressive fish. He's probably gonna bite me. You guys must really wanna be entertained, which, hey, I'm a man of my word. I'm going to do it, okay? But before I do, I'm gonna talk a little bit about Tiki Falls. Now, if you're new to the channel, Tiki Falls is a pond that I built, or I should say dug, with my own hands. Now, I've extended it over time, right? It was like Tiki Falls, Tiki Falls 2.0, 3.0, and we're gonna touch base on 4.0. So I'm gonna go over it a little bit more. I know a lot of you guys down in the comments in previous videos have asked a ton of questions. When are you gonna redo Tiki Falls? When is Tiki Falls 4.0 coming? Don't worry guys, we are gonna break the ground really soon. I'm actually meeting up with my contractor this week to discuss a little bit more in details about Tiki Falls 4.0 and when we're actually gonna break ground. So stay tuned, all right? I'm gonna show you guys what's going on with Tiki Falls and something that I added too, which you guys will benefit. If you guys have a pond and you guys need some shade, check this out. So I wanted to show you, Ohana, that I actually put up another post. Now, if you guys haven't seen the video of these DIY posts that I put up, which are strong to my sunshade cell, as you can see, provides lots of shade for the above ground predator pond and Tiki Falls. This right here, DIY, $16. I live in California, prices may vary. $16, you don't need cement in the ground. You don't need that foam, hard foam stuff that people use to hold down the post. You can see this post right here, this is a one and a half inch PVC pipe. You can see it's got a little flex to it, a little bend. Doesn't break, doesn't snap. It's been through some pretty, I don't know, pretty windy days. And you can see this one here is a little bit more stiff. See that, not too much flex. What I did with this one, I kind of upgraded it. So it may cost a little bit more. I actually put a wooden dowel. You know the dowels that you use to hang um, your clothes in your closet? I put a wooden dowel down here and it stops right about there. Right in here to keep it stiff. So that's just one way to upgrade your post. But check it out. I just wanted to show you guys that I added another one just to give it a little bit better angle here. And uh, it's looking good. Now, I know a lot of you guys are probably looking at my yard and you're saying, oh my gosh, what the hell? Is he living in Africa? Africa. Look at the, that brown grass. I turned off my sprinkler system because all that's going to be dug up because we are changing Tiki Falls. Yep, this is Tiki Falls 3.0. We're going to run it to 4.0. So you can see a lot of it, it's been, I don't know, a little bit of demolition there. You can see that waterfall spillway that I have there. Uh, I kind of broke down this waterfall. This was an actual, oh, as you can see the fish are right down there. Hey, what's up guys? Hey, as you can see, this actually was another waterfall. It would go right down into that side of the pond. Demolition that, as you can see over here, we swing the camera, we have a pile of rock which I am slowly doing a demo on. You will start to see Tiki Falls going through a little bit of a change, meaning it's gonna look kind of ugly because a lot of these rocks are gonna be taken down, like all those rocks there. So I'm gonna slowly start to uh, put them in a pile over there. Um, I wanted to keep you guys updated, especially you guys that are new to the channel. We are gonna take Tiki Falls, and let me just show you, we're gonna follow the outline of this patio. It's gonna come out here, 
it's going to go around this tree trunk and it's going to go down you can see this little curbing here all the way down there so all of this right here is going to be pawn and then what we're going to do is we are going across this here this is where the pond is going to start out over here is going to be the waterfall so we're going to have a cascade a couple pooling areas another cascade pooling area and then it will drop into the pond we'll have a skimmer on that side of the pond there maybe hopefully in the corner now in this area right over here guys which the pond's gonna come out and go around this tree stump, which we're gonna dig out. <clears throat> so the pond will probably come out over here and then loop around this way, okay? Over here, we'll probably have like maybe two or three aquascape wave makers, which are gonna send a current and push any uh, detritus debris that way towards the skimmer. That's the ultimate, ultimate goal, okay? so. Just wanted to give you guys a vision as you can see i have a ton of boulders here slowly been you know accumulating rock as you can see smaller rock kind of a medium sized rock in this area then ultimately the bigger boulders over here i got some more over there so that's the reason why my backyard kind of looks like crap i know i can just say it you know what i mean i'm gonna probably have another maybe one or two truckloads but we're probably gonna have smaller rock on the next couple batches of uh, rock. So stay tuned guys, easy access. If you wanna know how we got these boulders in, my buddy backed up his trailer. We took down this section of the fence and he backed it up and we just, he's got like a big lift gate and it dumped all the boulders out in the grass. And then I just rolled them <laughs> over off to the side. So we have a nice access when it comes to digging out the pond anyways that's what's going on with tiki falls i wanted to back up just to give you guys a little bit of a view and a vision of what's going on so i turned off my sprinklers for the uh, backyard grass because it's gonna die anyways with all this rock and boulders on it right save some water there but ultimately that's what's gonna happen waterfall cascade huge huge pond for my fish to thrive in i swear it's gonna be I mean, I guess a guesstimate will be about five to 6,000 gallons. Oh, check this out, Ohana. I actually came across some footage that I forgot to show you guys when I went to Vegas. Now, in Las Vegas, there are a ton of aquariums in most of the major casinos, like Caesars Palace, Mandalay Bay, the Mirage. There are a ton, and you can get some great, great footage of some huge saltwater, beautiful aquariums. I mean, we're talking like tens of thousands of gallons. So I wanted to show you guys a little bit of Caesars Palace and what I discovered there. So let's hit the footage. Ah. All right, Ohana. Now, when I was in Las Vegas, Nevada, I wanted to do a series of vlogs on all the big hotels with these huge aquariums in it, but they were all sold out except for Caesars Palace. This is Caesars Palace indoor shopping mall, I call it. It's beautiful. I mean, just look at the architect. Now, these huge widescreen TVs have these beautiful coral saltwater videos just playing it's sort of like an Atlantis theme and around that little like fixture there you see is a 50,000 gallon yeah 50,000 gallon salt water aquarium and we're gonna get a really good close look at it this is um, called Atlantis they have like a it's like a show it happens like every couple hours but check out this beautiful 50,000 gallon salt water aquarium it is gorgeous it has some beautiful fish in here so uh, check it out you'll see a beautiful leopard shark coming to the screen right about uh, now you'll see it start to swim through and it is beautiful wait hold on right now there it is <laughs> so as you can see uh, just full of life and it goes literally like in a big cylinder it's huge it goes all the way around and we're gonna take a walk and you'll see that leopard shark come back into the screen again there he is so awesome like I said very lively active aquarium sorry for the glare there's a huge glare in all the stores behind it but I walked literally walked around the whole thing just to give you guys a, a view and a visual but not only that the way till you see the the rays they have some beautiful stingrays in there too as well 
just so I just the way they swim they just flow it's like they're flying you know and um, yeah look at there's one there you can just see how active look at there's another one look how graceful they're, they're so cool to watch all the little ones there all the little fish as you can see, you walk through each pillar and there's just, and it's all connected. They look like four or five different aquariums, but they're not. It's all one gigantic aquarium that goes in a cylinder circle, which is perfect for a shark because they need an actual cylinder uh, style aquarium to swim around in because they got to constantly be swimming. More rays, look how beautiful. So awesome, right? So I hope you guys enjoyed that footage in Vegas. You know what, I'm, I'm just gonna stop BSing you guys, man. I'm just trying to stall. I'm showing you old footage in Vegas. Uh, I'm showing you plans on Tiki Falls. I'm just scared of this dude right here, especially hand feeding this guy. I've never done it before. Super aggressive. I really don't feel like getting bit by a fish on Sunday. All right, I really don't. So, but I'm a man of my word. I gotta do it, 300 likes. I mean, wow. <laughs> this guy is super hungry. He hasn't eaten in like, I don't know, a day and a half? No? It's been about a day. Yeah, so he's definitely ready to go. All 14, 15 inches of them. <sighs> Here, we have our shrimp. I'll even show it to him to let him know we're about to eat. Look at him. Yeah, so. <sighs> All right, guys. Let's, uh, let's quit the yippy yappity and, uh, <laughs> feed this guy <laughs> all right oh my ohana i'm not even gonna lie i'm a little scared right now okay you see this zeus this is a hand this is something you don't bite okay you ever heard of that saying uh don't bite the hand that feeds you well this is daddy's hand okay so oh uh, just just wish me luck all right let me go get the shrimp which is right up here oh i'll set it right here Oh, my Ohana. Here we go. Uh, the lid is off. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. He's probably going to strike my hand. Zeus, be good, Zeus. Be good. Do not, do not bite my hand. 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 No, 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 don't, don't, no, 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 no. Nope. Okay. Here goes. Here goes the hand feed. Oh. oh my gosh. Jesus. We did it. We did it, Zeus. Aloha. Aloha, Zeus. Oh my jeez. OMG, Ohana. Please hit that like button for me. I think I deserve every single like on this video. Man, I'm sweating like a farm animal over here. I can't believe I hand fed my giant Ocellaris peacock bass a shrimp. Hand fed him. Super intense. Uh, I, ooh, I think your boy needs a drink, okay? Other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like I promised you, I delivered this video for you guys. And I thank you guys for all your love and support. 300 likes in like a day and a half, two days. Crazy, insane. I just didn't think we were going to get to it. I hope this video entertained you. And we will see you on the next video, all right? Much love and aloha.